reason I said that to you is because you had said, I don't remember exactly what it was, but you had said something about people and fake spirituality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you was talking about, you was like, uh, these niggas ain't spiritual, blah, 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 doing stuff like <laughs> this, yeah. right? And so that's why I said, well, people could look at you and you know the music you're listening to and say that same thing about you. Facts. Right? And yeah. just the way you receive that, right? Yeah. I could tell right there, like this, this brother is different. And it's that's crazy too, though, because that was a growing point for me. You know what I'm saying? That's like something I could look back on and say, I grew at that moment because my intention going into it and looking at the comment wasn't, oh, this dude got the right intention for me. I'm like, who the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck this man? I remember you saying that, yo. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm about to. <laughs> but then when I read it and it, you weren't coming malicious or nothing, that's why I tell people, like, that's why. I, this is good. I'm glad you started with that because. Um, I've had people actually clients of mine, like people who I talk to and I'll be like, you know, me and Kev about to do this and me and Kev got this going on. And they'll be like, oh man, I don't really like Kev. You know, he, he said this to me. So it's like people say that you don't allow them to tell you their opinion. Like, they say like, okay, I try, I was just coming in a good manner and I just wanted to say this to him and he called me a fucking idiot. And I'm like, well, <laughs> so, and at the time, I don't know how to take it because I'm like, that's your experience with Kevin Ramon, that's your experience. What do you say to people who like that, who just don't get it, who, who take you the wrong way or are they taking you the wrong way? The, the beginning of my spiritual journey was finding out how stupid I was. Mm -hmm. And how much stupid shit I was doing with my life, you know, and how much stupid shit I used to say, how I used to constantly judge people and assume and all these things, you know. And so the thing I said to you, right, if you would have got offended by it and got mad at me, you wouldn't be here. Right. You wouldn't be where you are today. Because right. that same attitude would be reflecting throughout other areas of your life, and that would hold you back. Mm. But because of how you responded to it, and basically it was like, and I could tell how you responded because we didn't talk about it, mm -hmm. but I could just tell by how you made adjustments. We never talked about that again. Like we never discussed that. No. Nope. But I could tell by changes excuse me, that you made, that you received it, that you thought about it, you was like, you know what? What that brother said was true. Facts. Right? And so my whole thing is like, if it's true, then why you mad? And mm -hmm. if it's not true, then why you mad? Facts. 